Hey guys, Hector here, Global Artist of Fenty Beauty, and I'm gonna be teaching you how to get a Snatch Festival look. As festival season slowly approaches, I wanna share with you some of my best tips and tricks on how to make your foundation last longer, how to apply it, and then overall have fun with your looks. So the first thing I like to use is my soft matte primer. I like to take two pumps. I like to take my finger, and I like to press this into the skin. Take your time, really press it into those high points, especially the T-zone. We really want the skin to look and feel as natural as possible. So by pressing in the primer, it's gonna create this barrier of protection between your skin and the foundation, allowing Allowing the foundation to last longer. It's like basically massaging your face. It actually feels very good before all the party. When you think about festivals, it's usually very humid. So the best way to apply your foundation is gonna be using a very, very damp sponge. I love using my precision sponge and of course Pro Filter Foundation. I'm using shade 210. You wanna start by pressing your foundation only in the areas where you feel like you have a little bit of redness or where naturally you will flush throughout the day. A little bit goes a long way. I love how this foundation is humidity resistant, long lasting, and just looks like second skin. Pro Filter Foundation for me personally it's the best foundation. And like I mentioned before, my sponge is very, very damp. I don't want to add more product to sheer out the foundation, especially for festival season. So I feel very comfortable now with my foundation and the coverage I have created. Now I want to go ahead and just spot correct some areas and underneath the eyes using shade 190. She's a little bit lighter than her complexion. And if you notice, I'm only sticking to the T-zone using my damp sponge. Press that concealer into the skin. Instead of adding foundation, adding too much product, just dab it and blend it out. I'm gonna sweep a little bit of the excess product of my sponge onto the lids just to neutralize the area. But what I love about our concealer, it's also sweat resistant and long lasting, which is so important for festival season. Oftentimes your makeup tends to move a lot. You really just wanna maintain your pretty face. So now that I have completed my complexion application, I wanna go ahead and just blot away any excess shine. I'm using my powder puff setting brush with my Invisimat and I'm just dusting that T-zone. I don't want to apply an excess amount of powder. It's just going to blot away any excess shine. Now I'm going to show you how to sculpt the face using our Sun Stalker Instant Warmth Bronzer. Using our Sculpting Bronzer Brush, I'm actually going to show you how to sculpt the face. This is not contouring. So sculpting basically is how do you define the face, making it look as natural as possible. It's like wearing Spanx. You want to have them on, but you don't want nobody to tell. So using my bronzer in the shade Shady Biz, I'm gonna slowly start sculpting her cheeks. The way you do that is slowly start brushing that product into the cheeks, down the bridge of the nose, underneath the jawline, a little bit on the chin, not too much. I love using the sculpting brush because it really has the control that you need to really strategically place your bronzer. It just gives you like a nice soft application without you knowing where the lines start or where they end. So I'm going in with the shade Eileen Ting. One of the things that I learned from Rihanna herself is the way she sculpts. So she likes to start on an angle, so really lifting the face, so really starting from the apples of the cheek up into the temple and taking that same product from the lids up into the brow bone. It's one of those techniques that really gives you like a nice soft sculpting without looking or trying too hard. Great thing also is taking the tip of the brush, just slightly defining the nose. Also ensure that you put it underneath the jawline, a little bit on the chin. Again, everything should look very soft, very fluid, no harsh lines. A good tip is taking your sponge, just going over the entire face. What it's gonna do is just blend all those harsh lines, really marry everything together and make it look as seamless as possible. So now that I have finished sculpting this beautiful face using my bronzers, now I'm gonna go ahead and start with my festival look. First thing I love doing when it comes to any look I do is sculpting the eyes. So I'm actually gonna stick with the same bronzer in Island Ting using my taper blending brush. I start from the outer corners and slowly bring it into that crease. Now I'm gonna define the lower lash lines. Using a smaller brush to really saturate my color in the outer corners and then drop that product right in the center and then slowly diffuse it into the tear duct. So now to define really the outer corner and smoke out my look, I'm gonna dip it into a darker bronzer. And this one is more Kamami. Using my taper blending brush, taking that at an angle, I'm gonna slowly start focusing on the outer corner, just slowly bringing it in. Taking a smaller brush, really saturate that in the outer corners of the eye, and slowly whatever's left into your brush, bring it close to that tear duct. Just lift 
the eyes. When I think about festivals, I think about kilowatts. It's the best way to add shimmer to the skin. We have tons of amazing colors. I'm gonna use one of my favorites, which is my Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset. So I'm gonna first dip it into Sangria Sunset. And I'm literally just gonna press this onto the center of the lids. Really saturate that color. Blend it into that outer smoke that we have created. Using my smaller brush, I'm gonna take a little bit of the same color right on that lower lash line. So now I wanna make my look even more fun. So I'm gonna use a slanted wet brush, dip it into the one and only trophy one. Now I'm gonna define that crease. So what I'd like to do is now press that product in there to really just boost up that pigment. And once I get to the end, I just let it diffuse into the smoke. Using my same brush, I'm gonna define the tear duct. What I like to do is just follow the center of the eye as my guide and make one mark there. Then I just follow her eye shape and connect that into the center line. Slowly start saturating that line by stamping in your product. Now I'm gonna complete my eye look using some mascara and eyeliner. Now that I have completed my eyes, I'm gonna use my Mimosa Sunrise Sangria Sunset. So I'm gonna mix both colors, really focusing more on Mimosa Sunrise. I'm really just focusing on those cheeks. Make it nice and fun. Really ensure that's nice and blended. To ensure you don't have no harsh lines, go back with your sponge. Just marry all those products together. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add extra shimmer to my look to really just bring everything together. Since I use Trophy Wife on the eyes, why not make it fun on the cheeks? So using my taper blending brush, I'm gonna take the high point a little bit down the bridge of the nose, cupid's bow, and a tiny bit of the chin. Really want to go ahead and just take your time. Don't forget your ears just in case you get super excited. You lift up your hair. I love mixing and layering all of our products, so I like to using I Quit and Armand Moselle as a lip liner. Then taking our stunning lip paint in the shade Unbutton, saturate the center, and then finishing off with Gloss Bomb in the shade Fussy. No festival look is complete without the one and only Body Lava. I'm using the shade Who Needs Clothes and at any festival, Who Needs Clothes? I'm gonna start with the shoulders. Now we all about a shoulder moment here at Fenty. And of course, collarbones, decollete. So here's the truth, sis. Tell me what you like. I love it. Like it? Oh, <laughs> Thank good. You. Awesome. <laughs> And if you also enjoyed this look as much as we did, don't forget to follow us on Fenty Beauty and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that like and hit us some comments. Till next time.